This is Jermaine reporting for the Pound for Pound Boxing Show at York Hall, Warren Box Boxing Management and Yo. Variety Boxing. I'm here with Franco Ignatius. How are you doing, bro? All good, brother. Ignatius, fam. Ignatius. Ignatius. <laughs> yeah. Right, go on, go on. Yeah, uh, man, back. Yeah, back. You know, you got the win. Yeah, Two and oh. Yeah, bro, we're uh, back now. Active, uh, so only up from here, man. Yeah. So, you know, I'm glad to get out. Good show, you know, headline. Um, just keep going, deep, keep doing what I do, you know. Um, I'm not looking to take no breaks. Fingers crossed, you know, my management uh, can get me out before the end of the year. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Let's talk a bit about the fight. So, the, I like the way you boxing in the first yeah. two rounds, getting behind a jab, yeah. working the body. How do you rate your, your performance in obviously the first couple of rounds? Um, it was good, you know, I was boxing behind the jab, like you said, but um, I started getting over eager. I realized I was hurting him with certain shots. I've seen the response. And I started getting a bit too over eager to get him out of there. And I uh, started, you know, slightly opening my shots too wide and closing my, my space up. Little things like just taking a half step back and then continuing yeah. would have done me justice and probably got him out of there. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, it's learning, we learn. Yeah. We keep going, man. Yeah. Do you think it was the crowd that kind of, obviously when you landed some sh some big shots, the crowd yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, the crowd shot finish him like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know. I, I was like, yeah, bro, let me yeah. fucking do that. Yeah. Trying to lock him out, bro, get him out, man. Because I know I had the power to hurt him, you know what I mean? Certain shots I was hiding with, the left hook to the body caught him well. Do you know, there was one sh right hand on the rope that caught him, and I could see him wincing, I could see certain responses. But instead of forgetting all that and getting right back to the jab, I thought, ooh, boom, you know what I mean? And that's where I made a mistake, but... And they'll play to the crowd a little bit, but it is what it is, yeah. man. I got the way, so that matters. Obviously, do you think the more fights you get, obviously the better you'll get? Million get percent, more man. rounds in, obviously you get the ring rust completely off. A million percent, man. Listen, that was, I have 42 years. Understand? I'm having my debut in two years, and that two years ago, I was literally on the card, and like first fight on or something. And this one was me headlining, you know, my people. You could hear them chatting and chatting for me. And it was great, man. I loved it. And we just go up from here, man. Yeah, brilliant. So what's the, what's the next for you? Then you looking to get out again for the years out? That's what, that's the hope, you know. Um, depends on my management. See how they line it up. I'm really hoping they do it. But um, the main thing is just back in the gym, keep learning, keep doing what I do. I'm go up, man. That's yeah. it. Let's talk a bit about your stable mates tonight. Obviously, Sonny got, on, got his pro debut win there. Yes. Great performance here. Come on, man. He done good. You know, I think the, the hardest thing is the pro debut because um, you you're mentally not used to the pro game. You know, it's a bit different than the amateur gloves. The gloves are smaller. Everything's a bit more about the hurt business, and there has to be more of a killer in you. It's a bit different to amateurs. But um, I think, you know, Sonny, I've heard he boxed brilliant. I couldn't see I was getting ready for my thing, but I heard he boxed brilliant. And listen, he's out again in December, and I know he'll do a business. He'll do the job. Brilliant, brilliant. And there's a touch-up before I let you go. Big okay. fight next week, Friday. Yeah. Another stable mate of yours, O'Hara Davis. Come on, man. Out in listen, Dubai. Big old D. Look, man, I've got faith in him. I've seen the work he's put in, you know, motivating, training with him, working with him. We go, we go running together. And um, I think he, a lot of people slept on him, especially all this COVID period, but... Um, I think he's looking to win that title, make a big statement and push on. Listen, man, people got to watch out for him. The man's a danger, man. 100%, 100%. Quick message for your fans. Obviously, come come tonight and, and support you. Quick message Listen, for man, them. thank you for everyone that showed up. You know, um, I love the support. I love the fans that came out. And um, it's only up from here. And um, I promise you, I'm going to deliver the big fights. They're going to come. And there's going to be a lot of explosive fights, man. Come on, keep tuning in, keep supporting. And love to my people, man. Brilliant. Come Frank. On. Thank you very much for your time, man. All good, baby. All Thank good, you. Man.